hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is Austin back again with another simple tutorial on web development so the live example is already on your screen I like showing people what we're going to be building so that you stay around or decide to go so we're going to be creating some simple animated icon and these icons are from a website called font awesome and you will forgive me for one thing we are not going to be using a CDN I already downloaded this file on my local server or PC I'm going to be fetching these icons from a folder so in case you want to be oh sorry in case you are online I'm going to leave the link in the description below where you're going to get the CDN and use it because it's going to be the same so I'm going to create some simple HTML document I'm having the extension called emit so I just write shortcuts and it gives me everything so I'm going to save this and we should be able to get rid of all these codes on the screen what you're going to do first you saw the static icons and the animated icons so let me first link this font awesome on my page so there's a folder on the left hand side called icons so inside icons when we enter there is a folder called css and inside this folder css is where i want to get the file for font awesome so it's called font awesome dash all so font awesome dash all dot mini dot css so i guess we have linked it let me test it and see so i'm going to write a div with a class of fa class of fa dash phone so we should be able to get the icon for the phone on the screen yeah now font awesome is already linked on our page so what's following let's create the icons you saw at first now at first i'm going to show you the static icons i'm going to put some h4 on the right static icons now for the static icons i'm going to be writing the real classes so we are going to write the div sorry lowercase div we are going to give this div the class of fa fa dash battery dash empty so the first step or first stage it will be an empty battery it's kind of small i'm going to give it an id of battery one all of them are going to be having that id of battery one now let me target it in the head section within this style tag so I want it to be somehow big hash battery one then the font size font size sorry it's going to be 40 pixels oh, sorry for that let's make it 60 or 50 now I guess that's some fair size now I'm going to be copying all this I'm going to copy the all div paste it down here once again like five times once again and there so this one's going to be FA battery then we have quarter the second one will be quarter so when I reload, we are having that one, so they are all still empty. Now the third one will be half. The fourth one will be three quarters. Then the last one, it will be full. So basically, this is how the life cycle is going to be looking. Empty, quarter, half, three quarters, full. Very, very simple. So below here I'm going to put the h4 heading and I'm going to say animated icon animated icon I saved it oh no sorry it's not supposed to be in the ang tag so it's so, supposed to be 
I'm sorry for the noise in the background my keyboard has issues so animated icon should be with that heading now below here we are not going to write it by these class names so we are just going to put some simple div and give it a class of fa that's what we need for the html nothing is going to appear in the browser so we are left with only javascript to handle everything so right here i'm going to put the script tags we need that type and i'm going to create a function and i'm going to call it battery charger camel case you can write anything you can call it anything the function so i'm going to declare a variable i'll say you can say var or let and i'm going to call this variable call i'm going to call it charging so let charging and we assign it to document document wow dot get element by id so what i've forgotten to do is give this div an id so you go back and give it the id of battery you can name it anything you want and we also want this battery to be big so i'm just going to go in the style let's put it there battery so anything that will be added it will be having the same size like these first icons so we want to get the id of battery that's the id we have given to the other div now below here the reason why we have declared this variable we don't want every time to be writing this document that get element by id now we can only be referencing to this variable we created so it's going to be charging dot inner html now for this case these icons they have what we call the unicode if you go on their website you find that every icon has a unique code that is given to it so these unicodes you find like f224 f something so we shall write an ampersand sign there put the hash sign or number sign then we put x so lowercase x plus the unicode or the unique code for every icon so this first icon has f244 semicolon then also for javascript you put a semicolon and refresh this page nothing is going to be appearing just because we have not called this function so to call that function you just go below here and you say battery charger battery charge and put a semicolon refresh so we are having an empty battery here so that's the first cycle now we want to animate through all this life cycle and we get the animated icon you saw at first so below here we are going to put the set timeout function and it's going to take in a function so this function we are just going to call charging the variable we created dot inner html and say equals then you are going to put ampersand hash then x now the second this second icon it will be f two four three with semicolon and for javascript you put a semicolon refresh so it's going to run for let's put here for the seconds going to take one second so 1000 milliseconds is one second so check out this after one second we get the quarter battery so i'm going to copy the same function so it's almost the same we just change the entities or the unique codes so this one is going to take two seconds and from h3 we go to so 43 we go to 42 check out this quarter half so we are going to paste another set timeout and this one is going to be three seconds and this one is going to be 41 so refresh 
quarter half three quarters now we go to the full battery charge so this one is going to take four seconds and this one will become zero refresh quarter half three quarters full now we don't want this icon to stay there we want it to be repeating over and over again so what we have to do is come here and we set the interval so for the interval we are going to be calling this battery function so battery charge put a comma so as you can see it's running through four seconds so one two three four but we want it now to be repeating over and over again so you're going to set it to five seconds so it's going to be running every after five seconds let's check it out quarter half three quarters full battery and again so every after five seconds it repeats again very very simple now let me try to comment out all this code and see now this sets the empty battery so at first we get the empty battery let me copy the same comment and we say this sets the quarter quarter battery whoa this stuff is kind of faster empty battery now what this one does this sets the half battery so I'm seeing even some error typing here quarter this one is the half battery let me pull down I guess this is the three quarters three quarters battery and now lastly we get the full battery now I guess you can see now don't get don't get scared about this when you click the icon on font awesome it will take you to the specific page of that icon and you'll be able to see this number so there will only be these numbers just that to create they're like HTML entities you have to add some properties for them to be displayed in the browser so we just add these three characters you're seeing ampersand hash X then we also write the unique code or you'll be seeing unicode on the website for font awesome I'm going to make sure I leave the link in the description below so that you go out and see the different types of icons you can go out and play with so we are just animating this charging battery as you have seen it's very very simple just created this static div then dynamically we went in putting those icons after some time in this set time out function so thanks for watching guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead subscribe to my channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorials peace also let me know in the comments below if this tutorial worked out for you